Well, we're gearing up for a pretty big one at the World Cup. Few rivalries in sports overall get bigger than India against Pakistan. So I had to call some of the big guns out here with me today for this edition of Face Off. To my left, we have the son of Pakistan, Wakar Yunus. And to my right, we have another man who really needs no introduction, the Sanjay step, Mandraker. The stepson of India. <laughs> the stepson of India. All right. So I had to sit in the middle just in case things get a little dicey. You're allowed to come back at each other because, of course, this is India, Pakistan. Stand, guys we want to see you guys come after each other let's start off with you Sanjay the rule or the logic of the sport is the better side wins you see in cricket like in football and in tennis all sport and India happens to be the better side so it's as simple as that India the better side wins against Pakistan which is not as good come Walker, on, is that Sanjay, easy? Come on. <laughs> yeah, you played cricket you can't say that come on cricket is uh, is a game of uncertainties and it's hard to predict who's going to be good on the day. Yes, in numbers, in stats, you'll say India is number one, is a very good side. But on the day, I mean, anything can happen. I mean, look at the weather outside. <laughs> weather can play too. What does India have? They have quality batting lineup in these conditions as well. Shikhar Dhawan is a bit of a setback. Their seam is amazing in this era. I can actually say that the Indian seam bowling is better than Pakistan's. All the Wahabriyas and Amir coming back is great for Pakistan. But overall, when you look at the temperament and just the champions believe wanting to win and that confidence on a world stage Virat Kohli Dhoni you know dictating the culture of the team it's just the better team on all fronts Pakistan can win it will be an aberration if that happens like in the 90s it used to happen when we used to beat Pakistan it was the uh, the weaker team beating the stronger team yeah that's it can I, happen I was going to ask you what about the unpredictability of of Pakistan that mm -hmm. can play a bit of role yes and it played a big role in the Champions Trophy final so so that is gone now now it's got, <laughs> got to be back to the logical to thing normal. that the same <laughs> things to happen exactly but you know sometimes they do say that lightning doesn't strike in the same place twice so what mm -hmm. are the chances that we will see that Pakistan that showed up so beautifully against England and not the one that say showed up against the West Indies yeah that's what you're gonna get with Pakistan Pakistan always been an unpredictable side they will produce really uh, quality performance on a given day, but they can really, you know, be real poor and, and you don't really have to talk much about them. Their fielding will be all over the place. Uh, but I must say that once the back against the wall, Pakistan really comes out good when they're under pressure, they really perform really well. So I feel that tomorrow it's going to be, you know, other way around. Pakistan will come out with some good performances. Okay, Wakar, so Sanjay said his piece so eloquently as he usually does. So give me your first point why you think Pakistan have this in the bag. Look, we are not uh, the world beaters at the moment. We just lost to Australia, but uh, I still have faith in the team. And I feel, uh, you know, what I saw the other day, uh, Mohammed Amir coming out with the fire wicket hole and, and, and ball quite nicely, especially with the new ball. And then, of course, picking up fire wickets. I think uh, he's going to be the key man. And if he gets it right, even in the Champions Trophy last time around here in England, he produced good. He, on, on a bigger occasion, he comes out good. Sanjay, do you go have on. anything to say Sanjay, to that or do we want to, to go to the second point? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I want to tackle this one also. I mean, huge respect for, you know, the uh, same quality of Pakistan. Amir Wahab Riyaz coming back is brilliant. That was a good selection, mind you, and getting Wahab Riyaz in. And Amir has trouble, Rohit Sharma and guys, you know, get the ball back in. Virat also, if you get the ball to tail back in, start of the inning, he loves to get his front foot across and tackle that line outside the offside. So Amir can be a threat. But mm. that Amir of three, four years back is not today's Amir. He may have got five wickets in that last game, but I saw the highlights and most of the wickets that came were of batsmen trying to slog him and he was getting them out all over the place, ball in the air, no leg befores and clean balls like he used to. So he is a threat, but not as potent as he used to be. But the other thing that India have is that we've got two game changers in the middle overs. Since the emergence of, uh, emergence of Kuldeep Yadav and Chehel, India have just started winning more matches in 50 overs cricket. And I don't think Pakistan plays spin as well as they used to. Ooh, those are fighting words. Uh, no. Pakistan not being able to play spin very well, Walker. Come on. Nope. Yeah, I've got the answer. <laughs> I think Pakistan will be happy if you play two spinners. We will not be that happy if you play Shami because look at the weather outside. <laughs> if it's overcast condition, two spinners in the middle, I think Pakistani batters, especially Mohammad Afiz, Shoaib Malik in the middle overs, they'll be, they've got a lot of experience. They, they'll be a lot more comfortable against the spin. So that's where I think we will counter those spinners. No doubt, nothing taken away from those spinners. They are wonderful spinners. They're getting better and better every day. Uh, they're full of confidence. But 
middle overs, I feel if Hafiz is out there, Shoaib Malik plays, I'm not sure if he's going to play or not. But if he plays, I think they'll feel more easier or comfortable against the spin than the pace. Yeah. Shami will be your better bet if you play him. What about Fakhar? Last time around, Fakhar played magnificently. I mean, he is unorthodox. He plays sort of cross-batted most of the shots. There's a risk of him getting out, but he's the kind of a batsman. If he gets going, he's a bit like Pandya, what you, you guys got. He, he can really kick off and, and, and put Pakistan on a stage in very early in the game where they can sort of dictate terms. So I feel Fakhar is my man tomorrow. If, uh, if it's not too much seeming, I hope it's not seeming that much, he's my man. Uh, how is his recent form in England, uh, Wakar? I mean, recent form of the entire Pakistan is not... I'm talking there you about go, so I don't have to <laughs> reply to that, really. <laughs> no, you don't have to reply to that one. It kind of is what it is, all right? Gentlemen, thank you so much. Always a pleasure. They didn't even bring their fists out on this one. Yeah, we kept it classy. Time, next but next time, we'll get a little nasty. Yeah, next time, get a Pakistan representative who I dislike a bit. <laughs> all right, we're going to find out exactly who that is off camera. So we'll bring them back for the next one. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.